Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Morvi, and I'm back again with another achievement walkthrough. Today we are playing the game Pixel Gladiator. Now, this one's been around for a while, but there's not as many people with the 100% as there should be. This one's super special, as it will take you around 2 hours to get 2000 gamer score. So, this one's definitely worth completing. The aim is very simple, it is a base defense game. Enemies will come from the left and the right of the screen, and we have to defend the middle of the map. When the enemies get close enough to our base, they'll be in view of our cameras, and this is when we should start murdering them, as this is where we'll get the money to make our base and our weapons bigger and badder. As I was reading up about this game, I did notice that at one point the developers made the achievements really easy to get. I think you could get me like around 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, this is not possible anymore, and I'm quite thankful for that, as this game was quite fun to play through. And to be honest, I'd feel like it would be a bit of a waste if I got the full 2000 gamer score in 5 minutes. So, if this one looks like it's up your street, please grab it. It's only like 4 or £5, pounds, and that's about 6 7 dollars I think. It's a bargain, and it's a great game. Before we start, guys, if you like this video, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that sub button. I'm trying to get to 3000 subscribers. Can you help me out? I'm also thinking about jumping back on Spooky Sunday as I kind of gave up last Halloween and I was quite enjoying it to be honest. And I have a few titles in my library that I'm really eager to play. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see stuff like that. But enough of me waffling on. Let me show you how easy these achievements are. Let's go get them. When you start the game up, we're going to be going on to survival and we're going to be getting all the achievements on this game type. If you're after the achievement stage two, stage three, the $50,000 achievement, or the giant killer achievement, then please check the description below as I've done four separate videos on these achievements. Okay, first things first, we are going to get the three easiest achievements out of the way. The first achievement we're gonna be picking up is the Rookie Defender. We're gonna to have to kill 10 enemies for this achievement. Super duper easy. By the end of wave three, you will definitely have it. Here's a great tip. Every weapon has a secondary ability. The pistol seems a bit pants when you start using it, but if you use the left trigger, it will do an electric burst. This will make your life a lot easier and it makes the gun a little bit OP. Food for fault. Keep using the second ability on your pistol and your next achievement will pop. Advanced Defender. This one is for 20 enemies. As you can see on screen, please, please, please kill the bad guys underneath the cameras near your base, otherwise you won't be getting any money for your kills. And we need all the money for the achievements, I promise, I'm not greedy. As you can see, I did buy the rifle, but this was before I found out how OP the pistol was. And our final mob-related achievement, Expert Defender. For this one, we have to kill a whole 30 enemies. Wowee. This took me a whole 10 minutes to get 600 gamer score. As you can see, I got all three by the end of wave four. So if you blink, you might even miss this one. Would you believe me if I said there was even more easy achievements than that on this game? Let's go get them. Okay, jetpack. Now this achievement, we can pick it up at any point in the game. At any point, we have $2,000 spare. All you need to do is purchase the jet powered boots. In the game type Arena 2, you can buy them instantly, but uh, they'll come in very handy in the survival run, so get them as soon as possible. And when you do, you'll get a nice achievement to boot. No pun intended. To get the stage one achievement, fight your way through to wave 10, and we'll have a boss ready to tear us apart. I opted for the grenade launcher, which is $7,000 in the shop, to take down this monstrosity. I would really recommend this gun as it makes light work of the boss, but if you don't have enough money, the rifle and pistol work just as well, especially if you're using the secondary ability. Please note, this is the last stage achievement you will get in survival mode. I also got confused, uh, but you will pick up stage two and stage three in the other arena modes. If you need help with these, as these are the more trickier achievements, I have full video walkthroughs, so please check my description below and we'll get them achievements on your list ASAP. By now, you've probably built a wall or two and added a few turrets to help you out. Now, all you need to do is maximize their defenses. Thankfully, we only need to complete one side to get this achievement, so you don't have to save just as much. Please note, I do not believe the auto turret is included in this achievement. As you can see on screen, there's still an upgrade that I can get for it, but the achievement pops when I buy the floor defenses. The next achievement we'll be going for is the armor achievement. For this, we'll need to unlock everything in the shop. This is generally unlocked through natural play, but if you do need this one specifically, it's gonna set you back $25,500. 
This one's a little bit pricey, but as you can see on the screen, by Wave 18, I have two fully upgraded walls and a complete shop. After Wave 10, you can really start farming money. Just make sure you're getting them kills under the camera. And if you've got your grenade launcher, you'll make easy work of these mobs. Okay, this next achievement is super duper easy. If we want to get the cool guy achievement, we're going to have to buy the rockets from this shop here. Not the normal shop, the one just to the right. For some reason, this game likes to uh, mistitle stuff, so we're going to have to buy the bombs called Bombing. This will set us back $4,500, but don't worry about that. We'll get that back when we use it. Now, once we have that in our possession, it is essentially a airstrike. So when they get close to our cameras, set the airstrike down on them and watch them go. And you'll pretty much make your money back. And we'll get the achievement. Cool guy. Okay, I lied. I did say we we're going to get the first three easiest ones out of the way, but this one is actually the easiest. To get game over, all we have to do is fail to protect our base. And you know what that means? To get eaten by aliens. So as I said, this could be your first achievement if you wanted it to. Just run at the monsters and let them kill you and this one will pop. Rightio, now it's time to get some serious firepower on our side. This one's going to set us back a little bit of money, but that's okay. First off, we're going to have to repair the bench, and then we're going to have to save up $10,000 to buy the mech. Oh, but the achievement hasn't popped yet. That's because it isn't fully upgraded yet. Once we've got the mech, we're going to want to grind another $3,000. And once we've got that, we can buy the rocket launcher, and this will fully upgrade our mech, giving us the achievement. Uh, please note, I had to do this two times before the achievement popped. So this one is a little bit bugged, but you will get it eventually. And the last achievement we're going for on this video is full pockets. To get this achievement, we're going to have to get three power-ups in one run. To get these power-ups, they are dropped by every boss and mini boss in the survival run. So this includes the wave 10 boss, the wave 20 boss, and the wave 30 boss. I believe you can get a few mini bosses along the way. As you can see, I got one on wave 28. The only one that doesn't drop the power-up is the meteor mini boss. So keep your fingers crossed as I did a few runs and I've got a few different bosses at different times. So let's hope luck's in your favor. But this one's really easy. As long as you're using the secondary ability on the pistol, you have the grenade launcher at hand. You should do this with a lot of ease. As for the upgrades, uh, I didn't really notice what they did throughout the playthrough, but I'm sure they do help you out in some way. As I said, we're here for that achievement. And that's the end of my guide. If I helped you out in any way, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. If you're after the achievements of stage two and stage three, I've done two separate walkthrough videos as I found really easy methods to get them. So if you need them, please check my description below or check out my channel as they're my most recent videos. But until next time, guys, I've been Morvi and I'll see you later. Peace.